Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This time we're taking a quick look at the Zox Genesis RN2 SVS flip-up motorcycle helmet. Please visit WebBikeWorld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this helmet and many more. Zox helmets seem to get a lot of attention from WebBikeWorld.com readers, apparently because the helmets look good and they're priced low. But as we've said many times, price isn't always everything and most of the time you get what you pay for. The last Zox helmet we reviewed was the full-face Zox Azuma R, which was actually a nice helmet and a great deal. But we also reviewed the Zox Novato R back in 2007, and it had a fatal flaw. The rotating flip-up visor did not lock shut, a potential safety issue. The Zox Genesis RN2 SVS doesn't have that problem, and Zox apparently took our criticism seriously, as the Genesis has what feels like a very secure rotating visor locking system, as I'll illustrate in a moment. The Genesis RN2 is a good-looking helmet, especially when compared to many other flip-ups. But is style and low price enough to make this one a winner? Well, for the answer to that question, of course, you'll have to read the full WebBikeWorld.com review. In the meantime, let's take a look at some of the details of the Zox Genesis RN2 SVS flip-up. All of the Zox helmets we've reviewed have been nicely finished, with excellent paint and external appearance. The face shield on this Genesis is especially notable. It has a large lift tab on the left-hand side, and it rotates smartly through four positions without twisting or torquing, and it also features a small first opening position for defogging. The face shield also has outstanding optical properties that make it virtually disappear from view when riding. The SVS moniker on the Genesis means it has an internally rotating sun visor, but the slider that raises and lowers it is stiff and bulky. The internal sun visor also has a severe curvature at the bottom edge, and it remains in the line of sight unless the helmet is pushed down and forward on the rider's head. The face shield removal mechanism works well, although it doesn't feel like the sturdiest system we've tried, but it's easy to use and it should hold up for occasional use. However, the face shield doesn't quite fit tight against the eye port gasket on this one, and water leaks past the gasket when it rains. Let's take a look at the top vents, which unfortunately seem to have more style than function, because they're slippery and stiff and a bit difficult to open or close, and the design needs some improvement, which is discussed in the full WebBikeWorld.com review. What looks like another exhaust vent in the rear is actually a cover that snaps into the helmet. There are two exhaust openings underneath. The chin vent opening is loose on this helmet, and it's bulky and difficult to open. We couldn't determine whether it flows any air into the helmet anyway, and there are no vents through the large chin bar. The lock for the rotating visor feels secure, and the visor locks tightly in place, so Zox must have taken our criticism on the Novato R design seriously. The chin strap is one of the ratcheting types often found on European flip-up helmets. The liner in the Genesis is rather comfortable, and there is some room in the ear pockets for small speakers. So that's a quick look at the Zox Genesis RN2 SVS flip-up motorcycle helmet. Please visit WebBikeWorld.com for our conclusion, all of the details, more photos, and the full evaluation of this helmet and over 150 more. Thanks for watching.